Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. Retailers can manage Red Sea shipping delays, for now. China looms over Taiwan's fateful election. Taiwan's third force candidate seeks to balance US China ties. China's exports slump for the first time in seven years. Retailers can manage Red Sea shipping delays, for now. Bloomberg. Supply chain disruptions caused by attacks on ships in the Red Sea and Suez Canal are causing delays and increased costs for retailers. Container ships are being forced to reroute around the Cape of Good Hope, adding two to two and a half weeks to delivery times to Europe and North America. Retailers must manage the disruption but should avoid overreacting to potential shortages as they did in 2021. The situation is currently manageable, but if the attacks continue, it will become more serious. Retailers have options such as using air freight or changing the source of supply. China looms over Taiwan's fateful election. Washington Post. Taiwan is set to go to the polls on January 11 to elect a new president. The incumbent, Tsai Ing-wen of the Democratic Progressive Party, DPP, is standing against Han Kuiyu of the nationalist Kuomintang, KMT. China sees Taiwan as part of its territory and has warned that if the island declares independence, it could use force to stop it. Tsai won a surprise victory in 2016, which was seen as a rebuke to Beijing. Since then, China has sought to isolate Taiwan diplomatically and has stepped up military drills around the island. The US is also reportedly stepping up its backing of Taiwan, which China regards as a red line. In recent years, the US has increased arms sales to Taiwan and has been increasingly vocal in support of the island. Taiwan is a critically important partner for the United States, a senior US defense official said recently. We have a profound shared interest in the continuation of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. Taiwan's third force candidate seeks to balance U.S.-China ties. Nikkei Asia. Taiwan People's Party presidential candidate Ko wen has stated that he will ensure there are no surprises for the U.S. or China if he is elected. Ko said Taiwan should consider the preferences of both countries when making key decisions, and that he was the most acceptable person to both the U.S. and China. Ko has proposed increasing Taiwan's defense spending to 3% of GDP and building its own defense supply chain. He also stated that Taiwan should increase exchanges with China to establish goodwill and prevent any misfire in relations. China's exports slump for the first time in seven years. CNN. China's exports fell for the first time since 2016, with full-year exports in 2023 down by 4.6% compared to the previous year. The decline was attributed to sluggish global demand and the impact of protectionism and unilateralism. Imports also fell by 5.5%, leaving China with a trade surplus of $823 billion. Chinese customs officials expect exports to continue facing difficulties in 2024 due to weak global demand and trade barriers. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six from the Sixth Dimension, here to bring you the latest news from around the world. Today, we discuss the challenges faced by retailers due to the shipping delays in the Red Sea and Suez Canal. While the situation is currently manageable, retailers need to avoid overreacting and consider alternative options such as air freight or changing the source of supply. Moving on, we delved into the upcoming elections in Taiwan, where the incumbent president Tsai Ing-wen is standing against Han Kuiyu. China's influence looms large in this election, as it sees Taiwan as part of its territory. The US, on the other hand, has been increasing its support for Taiwan, causing tensions between the two superpowers. We also looked at the third force candidate, Ko wen Jie, who aims to balance US and China ties if elected. Ko proposes increasing Taiwan's defense spending and fostering goodwill through exchanges with China. Lastly, we discussed China's first decline in exports in seven years. Sluggish global demand and trade barriers were cited as the reasons behind the slump. Chinese customs officials expect exports to continue facing difficulties in 2024. In conclusion, the world is facing various challenges, from supply chain disruptions to geopolitical tensions. As always, it is important for us to stay informed and adapt to these changing circumstances. So, what are your thoughts on these issues? Do you have any questions or perspectives to share? Let's continue the discussion and explore the complexities of our ever-evolving world. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making.
Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.